Greetings. Today we'll be talking about an important clinical topic, Faget's sign. I am Dr. S. Monish Balaji, known as S M B. Before we go to Faget's sign proper, we'll be talking about Lieber-Meister rule. This rule states that under feverish conditions, for each Celsius degree increase in body temperature above thirty-eight point three degrees Celsius, which is one hundred one degrees Fahrenheit. a corresponding rise in heart rate by 8 to 10 beats per minute is anticipated the image shown here depicts karl von liebermeister the person behind this rule so what is faget sign it is the inverse or paradoxical relationship between body temperatures above 38.3 degrees celsius or 101 degrees fahrenheit with a pulse lower than that expected for the degree of temperature elevation it is quite simply put the exception to liebermeister rule this sign can be best described for temperatures more than 38.9 degree celsius meaning to say that for temperatures from 38.3 to 38.9 degree celsius this sign is not of much significance the individual shown here is jean fejet the individual behind this named sign the synonyms for the eponymous term are relative bradycardia sphygmothermic dissociation pulse temperature deficit pulse temperature dissociation so what is the pathogenesis of this sign the pathogenesis is less understood the mechanisms proposed include one the release of inflammatory cytokines which alter the autonomic balance in the human body two increased vagal tone three direct action of pathogens on the myocardium four electrolyte abnormalities so what are the causes of this relate to bradycardia the causes can be classified into non infectious and infectious causes the non infectious causes include One lymphoma, two drug induced fever, three factitious fever, four adrenal insufficiency, and five cyclic neutropenia. This image shows an individual with cyclic neutropenia who has developed acute necrotizing gingivitis. The infectious causes of relate to bradycardia can be further classified into bacterial causes, protozoal or parasitic causes. spirochete causes and viral causes the bacterial causes include the important enteric fever caused by salmonella typhi and salmonella para typhi the image on the right upper corner of the screen shows the bacilli which cause enteric fever the second important disease is legionella pneumophila causing legionnaire's disease there is a chest x ray of an individual with legionnaire's disease on the right lower corner of the screen Other important organisms causing this relate to bradycardia phenomenon are listeria monocytogenes causing listeriosis, chlamydia cytosine causes cytokosis, chlamydia pneumonia causing pneumonia, coxella burnetti causing Q fever, and other rickety cell organisms like anaplasma phagocytophilum, Escherichia schwannensis. The important mycobacterium tuberculosis has also been documented at times to have shown this phenomenon. and finally francisella tularensis which causes tularemia the spirochetes causing relate to bradycardia include treponema pallidum which causes syphilis leptospira intragans which causes leptospirosis borrelia burgdorferi which causes lyme's disease so the viral causes of relate to bradycardia are hantavirus human metapneumovirus neirovirus filovirus flavivirus arena virus ecovirus and flibovirus the parasitic causes are three in number plasmodium babesia microti and trypanosoma cruzi the image in the left lower corner of the screen shows the peripheral blood smear of an individual with malaria in whom the infected rbcs show the ring form of plasmodium the second image shows the peripheral blood smear of an individual with chagas disease showing the parasites trypanosoma cruzi 
The third image shows the Maltese cross pattern of Babesia. Thank you.